Hey guys, it's Darn Ridgely, uh, Kell Rollers Realty, Chattanooga, Tennessee, downtown office. Over the last two, three months, we've really been working on uh, developing checklists and systems, and I guess you'd call it an operations manual for everything we do. And right now, probably 60-70% of our business, 85% on the buyer side, actually comes from online lead generation using Craigslist, Backpage, um, a blog site, registrations, you know, uh, job form, woofoo, places that people register, Realtor.com, Trulia, Zillow, uh, Listings to Leads, our Facebook fan page. Um, we've got about 12 different places that we check daily that we get leads from that either give an email address and or a phone number. About half to 65%, depending on the time period, actually give us a phone number too. And so with that being one of the biggest part of our business, we really sat down and tried to work on exactly what we do with those online leads. And what we came up with was each one of these is a major heading, and each one of these probably has between 6 and 15 steps. But when a registration comes in, there's 12 to 15 different places someone might register. The first thing that we have to do always is respond. If they've given a phone number, we strive to respond within 5 minutes. Um, and then if all they've given is an email, we still try to respond within an hour. Uh, over a variety of sources, not just a regular email, but we try to send an iJot. We have iJot downloaded on our phone, so we can just send a quick one. Yeah, it's a little bit cumbersome. It's not as easy as doing it on the desktop, but if you're out and you've got time to do it, that's a great way to respond real quick. Uh, so we respond. Any way, they, all the different ways that we can respond to them quickly, we do. So we use email, we do a call, we do whatever we have. That has to happen immediately. The next step is we actually get back in and we research. We take a look at what they did while they were online on our site. What homes did they look at? Uh, what areas did they look in? What price ranges? Um, and then not only do we re research what they did on our site, we take them to Spokio, we take them to Pipple, we Google them, we Facebook them. We search all these different sources. We have six places that we're going to search that name and that email address, try to find out as many different ways. Can we find a way to send them a handwritten note? Can we find another email address to use for them? Can we find a LinkedIn profile, connect with them on a Facebook, a Twitter account? Um, have they been posting photos on Instagram? Just where can we connect with them? Where can we either connect with them? Or where can we gather more information about them? Those are the two things we do in social media is we use it to connect. Another way to send them a message, we also uh, use it to find out more about them. Are they a football fan, a NASCAR fan? When do they plan on moving? What are they saying about their move? Those type of things. Um, and then after we've done the research, we use the information we gather to establish a connection with them. We're going to do a couple things here. We're going to establish all their communication plans. We've got automated 10, 10 days of pains, 8 by 8s 33 touches. All those things are automated now, and with the click of a button, we establish those communications really for the next uh, you know year and a half. It's all set because they, they get set up for 10 days of pain. That takes the first two weeks out of the equation. They go on an 8 by 8 that takes the next two months. And then they go on a year-long 33 touch program right off the bat. So we've established a solid follow-up plan with them from the day they registered on. And then finally, once we've established those automated programs, we connect. We take the research that we've done, the, the communications that we've established, and we use that to connect with them. When they come back online and look at a certain property, we're going to send them more info about that property. If they've looked at a property three four times, we may go shoot a quick video of it. Any way we can connect with them and really show that we care, and that leads us to closing. So for us, the online process, the, the life cycle of a person that registers online to close goes through these action items. Uh, if you'd like to know more about this, give me an email. We can send you the actual breakdown checklist. It's realtordarn at gmail.com. One of the easiest ways to connect with me is on Twitter. That's at realtordarn. You can find me on Facebook or you can just Google Darn Ridgely and I'm sure you'll find a way to get a hold of me. So thanks a lot for listening. Hope you're having a great day.